<laughs> What's up, family? Give thanks some praise to your creator, whether you might conceive him or her to be. If you're watching this video, you know I'm back up and running. I was strike again for a week. Got a head cold, my eyes are red. I was strike for a week again for spreading knowledge. You know how it goes again. As long as you're telling the truth, they are going to try to shut you down. I was thinking about this for a while. I'd be saying, when you call out people whores and bitches and, and black folks this and black folks that, they don't tell you that you violate their guidelines. But as long as you have to speak the truth about them, you are violating the guidelines and their protocol. Now I make a video about how they got here and how I think they got here. And I was straight for that video. You see, it is very simple. They want you to say what they want you to say to make them feel comfortable. As long as they don't feel comfortable in what you're saying, they can tell you, you will violate their protocol and their guidelines, their community guidelines. So they have to strike you. See, they have to feel comfortable when you are speaking. So you have to, I'm not really, I'm not really going to watch what I'm saying. They can afford to strike me. Like I said before, and I keep saying over and over again, their time is frigging up. It is simple and it's complex as that. So regardless of whatever they try to do, it is not going to work. Now this way, this what we call, like back in the day, when you have slavery, as far as we understand, and you speak up against them, they will take you in front of the crowd of your family and whip you and beat you in front of them to de or should I say degrade you. That's the same that the so-called cops do now where they hold drop you on the floor and, and kick you and beat you to degrade you. But they don't understand their time is up. You could only do so much for so long. So what I said it seems it affected them. It, it it seems that it offended them, so they strike me. I really don't give a damn because like I said before, if you're calling black folks bitches and whores and slats and, and, and degrading black folks, it's good. Oh, they love that. They, they'll smile and say, oh, you see, I've told you, see, they, they degrade their own people. But when you want to talk bad about them, no, you're, you're violating my community guidelines. You can't say that because you, you have to say things to make us feel comfortable and that you, uh, you can't offend us. That's what we call modern day slavery. The same thing goes on on the job. When you're on the job, you can't say certain things. Go over there. Stay over here. Sit over there. They always want to be in control and tell you what you can and cannot do. Those days are over. And they know it. So, they, like I said before, they are like a drunken man trying to hold on on a piece of string. So, they try everything to still keep you locked down. Look at the police force. They're still doing everything to keep you in check. They'll show up to your house and ask you if you got keys. You sure you live here? Although you got keys or you walk in the house, they want to come in your house to see if you really live in there or not. Always control. They always want to be in control and tell you what you can. And they don't do that to no other risk but us because what we are the original. They have expiration dates, but we don't. So regardless of whatever they do, and I said before, whatever they strike, delete, shut down, the truth is only the, the truth. It's like it's like, like the saying goes. You tell people the truth. It's better to tell people the truth and have them walk away or to tell them what you want them to hear and have them stay. And they can't deal with the truth. That same thing come back with the movie with Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise. When they tried to arrest Jack Nicholson for treason, treason and he said, you know what, you guys can't deal with the truth. Yes, it, this, yes, how it is now. They can't deal with the truth. They want you to make them feel comfortable, even in the restaurant, anywhere you go. And you talk, oh, they're talking so loud, and they, they're loud over there. We have to talk, well, you know, tomorrow we are going to the store. We have to talk, camp, to make them feel comfortable. And there's a freaking, as my boy would say, those days are French toast over. Either you stand for something or you will fall for anything. And as we know, we are multidimensional beings and we do not die, do not worry about dying in a physical form because we will come back like Marcus Garvey says in a whirlwind, destroy everything. We got us all the technology they got and all the end of the future they have, they cannot deal or destroy the original. Anytime you destroy the original, that's why they try to invent now artificial intelligence. And I guess maybe the movie, what you call? With Will Smith, 
when all of the robots will take over. We be long gone. We be in a different planet, different reality. Anyway, folks, I guess like you guys know, if you've seen this video, <laughs> that means the, the ease off of my strike and let me post more videos. Like, it's going to bother me. One way the other, the truth will come up. Other than folks, be truthful. Speak your truth quietly and clearly. And remember, even the dull and the angry, they still have the story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons because they are vexation to the spirit. And do not compare yourself with others because you are always a greater and lesser person than yourself. Be interested in your own career, however humble, is a cake of fortune in the times. Exercise caution in business field because the world is full of trickery. But let that display you or what they are because the universe is full of love. I can go on and on. That's called Desi Lerata. Check it out. Peaceful. It was founded in 1875 in the church in Baltimore. It's called Desi Lerata. I'm out of here. Peace out. One love.